In question 8 we're asked to download and open the Excel file called Westpac Executive Team. The file contains data from the Westpac 2011 annual report relating to the executive team including name, position, year joined the group, year appointed to position and gender. In part A we have to have a look at whether the gender variable is ordinal or nominal. So if we have a look at column E, gender, gender is certainly categorical. In terms of whether it's ordinal or nominal, well we have to ask ourselves whether or not there's any inherent ordering to those categories. There isn't, so this is an example of nominal categorical data. For part B, we have to construct a summary table for gender and that will of course mean using a pivot table. So even though we're only going to be working on column E, because we have several columns of data, the best way to proceed is to click on the first cell, so the top left hand corner cell, so that when we start to use the pivot table wizard it will be able to find our data. So we click on the top left hand cell and then we go into insert, we go into pivot table and you can see by the highlighting around our table of data that it has in fact found all of the data we're wanting to include although we're only going to process gender in this particular example. Now in terms of where we're going to put this pivot table let's add it to the existing worksheet just so that we can still see all the questions as we work and I'll put my mouse where I want that pivot table to begin and then I can say OK. Now when you create your pivot table and we've certainly been doing some in the lectures we talk about having a skeleton pivot table, a skeleton table to drag stuff into. Now here we've got a slightly different view so depending on your particular version of Excel this is the view you might see. Now it's quite easy to still switch over to that skeleton table that I've been demonstrating. You just go into your options, into display and then select the classic pivot table and that just switches it over. Okay so we're wanting to analyze gender so we're going to drag gender into the row fields and you can see it goes through and finds that we've got a female category and a male category. We then drag gender again into the data items and just double check because sometimes Excel doesn't always guess correctly. Here it's counted which is exactly what we wanted. We had 13 people in the team and it's counted the number of males and females. So that's how we construct our summary table for a categorical variable using a pivot table and of course you could cut and paste that into a Word document if you were preparing a report. Now we want to turn that in part C into a bar chart and part D into a pie chart. So we have a pivot chart button and we can click on that, select our basic 2D column, say OK now this would need a little bit of tidying up. We only have the one variable so we certainly don't need the legend and we would need to give this a better title so we can edit the text and say um, uh, gender analysis of the Westpac executive 2011 and if we're worried about that being a bit big don't forget you can always go in and change the font to maybe get it all on just the one line. Now we've already got our labels on our bars and if we want we can go in and we can add in to our vertical axis a title we would just use frequency. Now certainly the bar chart is useful it gives us that frequency information and it's clearly showing that there are more males than females as part of that executive team. Let's have a look also at a pie chart. So click back onto my pivot table, go into my options so I can make another chart, this time a pie. Now we would need to go through and give that one uh, its 
own title we could use the same title we used previously we do in fact need the legend for this case because we need to know what color in the pie chart goes with what gender category and also we could have a look at adding in some extra information so with one of the chart layout options so you can see we can even add in that sort of 92 percent versus 8 percent and there are quite a few you can experiment with different ones there are some options where you just get the percentages some where you get the names and the percentages so it really just depends uh, what you're wanting to have and what you think looks best and I'm just gonna cut and paste that title so that um, don't have to type it again it's not going to let me cut and paste so I will have to type it Okay, so that's part C and part D. Part E has asked us which do you think gives the best representation of the data. Look, in a similar way to question 7, we have uh, two charts that both could certainly be used. So again, here it probably does come down a little bit to personal preference. Because we've only got the two categories, certainly this is more along the lines of when we'd be looking to use uh, a pie chart. With just the two categories we might want to and the fact that they have quite different frequencies the pie chart does make that very clear when we see the 92 percent versus the eight percent but you can certainly see the same information in the bar chart so it just depends you know do you want to refer to the actual counts in your written analysis in which case you would possibly use the bar chart whereas if you wanted to use the percentages the pie chart because it is naturally in percentages might be the better representation so here you do have a bit of a choice remember if there had been lots and lots of categories we would have tended to go for the bar chart and not the pie chart but for just two categories certainly a pie chart is an appropriate option okay and lastly part F what are the key features well we've only got the two categories to talk about so it's going to be a little bit more brief and certainly you would imagine that this would be part of a larger analysis where we might look into um, some of our other columns of data but in terms of this chart we could certainly say something like the Westpac executive team in 2011 comprises predominantly of males of the 13 member team 12 are male and only one is female and if you had chosen to use the pie chart you could easily switch those frequencies with the actual percentages.